Hello and welcome to another GSC Tech Tip. Today we're going to be talking about some options using the Smart Dimension tool when you're sketching. Now there may be times when you want to create a dimension to an arc or to a circle and you don't want the dimension location to be the center of that arc or circle. Well, when you choose to dimension to the arc or circle, pick the circumference of the arc or circle and while SOLIDWORKS will automatically snap that to the center of that arc or circle, you will have options if you select this dimension and go to leaders. You will see our conditions. The default is always going to be center. So I always select the circumference of an arc or circle to dimension its location, knowing it's going to go to center. If that's what I want, then that's what I get. But because I picked an arc instead of the point directly, I have options for min, or in my case, max, so that the dimension goes from the line to the farthest point across that arc center on the arc. Min will go to the theoretical inside if this was a full circle. Center is the default, but min and max are options when you dimension to an arc by picking its circumference. If you're dimensioning the location of two arcs or two circles, then you'll have arc conditions for both sides. For example, picking the circumference of each of these circles gives me, of course, a dimension center to center. That is, again, the default. But when I go to leaders, I'll see arc conditions for both sides. So I can say I want min to min, or max to max, or min to center, or center to max, and basically mix and match and get different options as I wish. Something else to note is that after you've created this dimension, if you select on the dimension, little squares or handles will appear at the end of the extension lines. If you grab on that little handle, a little symbol comes up, looks like a dimension, that means you can actually grab that dimensional handle and drag it to another position, max or min condition, on the circle, like so. Something else to note is that as you're dimensioning, if you know ahead of time you want to go to the min or max condition of an arc or circle, hold down what I call in SOLIDWORKS the magic key, which is shift. I'll hold the shift key down, then select the circle toward the inside that I want to snap to, and then, same thing on the other circle, shift select that to the inside, and I got min and min based on where I selected. So those are some tips using the dimension tool to create dimensions to circles and arcs. I hope you found these useful, and we'll see you next time.